Hey, what's going on guys? So uh, today I'm doing a little video on this Wii knife. This is the Wii Culex. C-U-L-E-X, I believe. Let's see, let me make sure that's uh, right there. Yep, yeah. the Culex. I believe that's how it's pronounced anyway. So this one's specifically the Wii 21026B-2, which is the black on black. All right, this one has a black stone washed CPM 20 CV blade, which is phenomenal. This thing's ridiculously sharp. Um, I mean, I like the knife. That's pretty much it. End of video. I love it. I think it's fantastic. Uh, there's, I, I really have no complaints at all on this. I mean, there's, there's no hot spots. The lockup is fantastic, especially for a little, you know, plunger style lock, as some people call it, or a button lock. That's what it is, essentially. It's an, it's an automatic knife without a spring. It's the best way to put it. A little flipper on the back. Flips out nice and fast. Locks up strong. Dual thumb studs. Okay, so you want to flick it out with your thumb, you can certainly do so. Um, it's running on a bearing system, all right, just super fidget friendly, you know, opening and closing, especially when you have a button lock here and a flipper, you push your, your pointer finger, you push in your thumb, pointer finger, thumb, pointer finger, thumb, right? And you can uh, just play with this thing all day long. But if I just get that lock just offset here, I only move my hand so you see I'm not touching the lock, this thing is just super smooth. So yeah, the bearing system is fantastic. The blade seal is fantastic. The, the fin finish is fantastic. I mean, there's a couple different versions if you're not into the whole black on black. I have to say the black stone wash is awesome. This got a lot of use and it's really hard to tell looking at the blade. I did wipe it down a little uh, before this video, but I mean, there's just ever so slight scuffs here and there. And if there are light scratches, it's hard to tell with that stone wash. Just super, super nice, but yeah, I mean, I love this knife. This has a 2.9 inch blade. Again, it's a CPM at 20 CV. And if you notice, it does not say it on there. It's very sterile, which could be a pro or con. Some people do like that. They like a very clean knife, not a lot of writing anywhere. And other people just kind of like that. If you have a big knife collection, sometimes it's hard to keep track of stuff. Like if you had this knife, and let's say you didn't have the box or anything, and you EDC'd it, whatever. You know, one day you might pick it out and maybe you want to sell it. And you look at it and you're like, what is this? <laughs> I don't even remember. The name you know personally am i gonna remember this is called the cool x five years from now or ten years from now if i still have it maybe maybe not there's there's so many different knife names and all different gear everything has a name and a brand and all this stuff and it's just kind of hard to keep track of to be honest if you're new to this whole thing every knife having like a model number and a name in most cases it, it's a lot it really is a lot to keep track of but i personally like the sterile look of it um i think it's really nice i mean all we really have here we have the Wii logo in the pivot the clean side of the pivot, okay, so the pivot head is on the back. And in this case, we see this beautiful bronze gold uh, coloration on our hardware, as well as the pivot and our, our dual thumb studs. I think it's super classy, it looks really nice. But anyway, uh, the blade cuts like a, like a razor blade. It is a flat ground, all right, drop point style blade, super thin, very lean on that edge. And again, that, that CPM 20 CV is just phenomenal, just holds an edge, feels like forever. All I do is just strop this thing up. I haven't needed to sharpen it since I've gotten it. Uh, close, this one is 4.1 inches. Open, it's 7.1 inches. And this thing only weighs 3.9 ounces. Taking a look at the uh, pocket clip here. You can see it is deep concealed pocket clip. Not too much pressure on there, so it's easy to carry, easy to take in and out of the pocket. We have two screws. When you flip it over, you can see there's one screw in there, but there is tapped drilled hole, so you can swap this. So. This comes uh, tip up right side carry, but you can swap it to tip up left side carry, which is very nice. Okay, um, as far as you know, overall the the ergonomics you can see is a very simple design, just a flat edge here. All right, um, I would say it is on. It's like right in between, in my opinion, medium and large. It's not really a large knife, but I, I feel like it's a little bigger than a lot of medium sized knives. You can see with my I have XL size uh, hands for gloves anyway, and I get a half a pinky on there. All right, can choke up. The jimping does work very nicely. All right, if you are a fan of a jimping there for the thumb, it does, uh, it is purposeful, okay? But overall, I mean, like I said, I mean, there's no hot spots. It feels comfortable in the hand. I can use this hard. It's just super sharp, super nice looking too. It's very classy. This can definitely pass uh, for a gentleman's style knife, not just like your, your tactical, you know, EDC that everyone's uh, always lusting after. But yeah, I mean, just flips out. Super fast, locks up nice and tight, closes easy, just really awesome. Of course, you do get the all the goodies. All right, interesting little box cover there. All right, you get the nice uh, storage case. You know, we being a, a higher end Chinese company, 
like I said, you can get all the goodies there. There's our website. We have the cleaning cloth, the instructions. Love your new knife? Yes, I do. All right, there's a decal in there as well. All right, and a little baggy. But you can see there's like a, it's a lines. Let me get the right light here. It's a fuzzy lined pocket to put your knife in. And then there's one on the other side, it's double sided. So you can put two different knives in here and they're not banging into each other, getting all scratched up. All right, so very, very cool. So yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. These sell for around 217 dealer's price. I think it's worth every penny of it. As I mentioned before, there are a couple different versions. If you're in the market for kind of a higher end knife, if you don't want to spend three, four hundred dollars, but you want something really nice, I would really recommend this. Um, if you haven't had a button lock before, you might want to try out a cheaper one first, just to see if that's a style you like. But if you do know that you do like this, this lock style, which is very convenient. Um, I know I, I had someone comment, God, this was at least more than a year ago. They sent a message about button locks being um, dangerous because, you know, when you're gripping the knife, you can, you can accidentally push that button down and unlock it. Uh, I've never had it happen. Not saying it's impossible, but I really, there's a lot of stuff to worry about in this world. Uh, accidentally depressing your, your button lock on your knife while you're using it is definitely low on my list anyway. Um, but yeah, I would get like a cheapo $20 knife to see if the button lock style is something you like. Uh, and if it is and you want something a little higher end, I would definitely recommend this. I mean, again, the CPM 20 CV, one of my favorite steels of all time, holds a ridiculous edge. And everything about this knife is awesome. I mean, like I said, it's classy looking, it's comfortable, it cuts like crazy, it's just awesome. So let me know down in the comments section if you have a Wii Coolex, and if you do, let everyone know what you think of it. But I love mine, I think it's awesome. So that's all, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.